We are going to wreak havoc the on our opponent's the psyche the and their plan of attack. This is a talented team, and they bring one word with them, havoc. And that's really the team's mantra, from their defense to their offense. But defensively, they lead the country in steals and also lead the country in turning over their opponents. It is so important for them to get the Havoc defense going because they get most of their offense from it. You have to take care of the basketball against Havoc defense. You know, you look at the makeup of these guys. Shaka Smart goes out and gets guys that are athletic, that are good basketball players, but have high motive. All of these guys can play full court pressure defense. One of the things about uh, BCU is not only the havoc, that it causes on the floor, but it mentally challenges you even before you get on the floor. They lead the country in steals. They also get 32% of their offense from their defense. It's because of the defense. A lot of the turnovers that look like the unforced errors are because you're not sure where these guys are coming from. That's the debilitating nature of these You have to work so hard to get it done. And they come right back to the three-point shot. It's just relentless pressure from both sides of the floor. And, and you can see VCU smiling. They know this is what they do. VCU does it as well as anybody in the nation. They call it havoc. And their defense, 94 feet. They change it up. Man to man, run and jump, zone, trap, whatever you want to call it. They are very effective at it. I think they all come with that involvement. You know, they're just so dedicated to showing good defense, good position, and then the hands. This aggressive defensive pressure that this team exerts. You can try to put seven guys on defense to simulate what BCU does. You can't do it. It's, it's nearly impossible to replicate their speed, their anticipation skills, and the way that they play this defense. You can see what the players are going through. If you're in this arena, you can feel the heat, you can feel the pressure. You know, sitting here, it's just. It's uncomfortable. I'll tell you what, if you see VCU, young kids, watch these guys sprint back on defense. Great hustle by VCU. So many times we promote the individual. Oh, LeBron, Kobe Bryant, uh, Kevin Durant. But then we leave out something that's really unique and special, and that's team and team basketball. I sat there and watched this team carve the Clippers up by playing basic, fundamental basketball, and it was beautiful to watch. It, it, it reminded me of my era, the way we used to play the Celtics, just smart and great basketball.
And I'm happy that we are seeing it in America. You need to appreciate the San Antonio Spurs and this team well coached. And, and I'm just, sometimes you're lost for words. All you need to do is just watch this team and they'll say it all. If you're a purist about the game of basketball, you watch them play. If you want the glitz and glamour and all the dunks, you maybe focus in on another team. And it's a credit to the organization, the ownership, uh, R.C. Buford, Pop and his staff, and the players. Everybody's in the same circle, and they believe in it. Uh, they're not all seeking a lot of glamour and everything else. It's The, the players that I'm uh, having the privilege to coach have been incredible. And the fact that they allow me to coach them the way I coach them uh, surprises me almost on a daily basis. Uh, it's a great group of people who I always say have gotten over themselves. You know, they come to practice, they play the game, we win, we lose, uh, we go home. And they do it wonderfully. And Timmy is the, the guy that's in charge of all that. You know, he sets the tone on the floor for our players and uh, our success. Uh, although all of us have a part of it here, uh, those are the guys that get it done. And they're the most important part of what we do and they've done it wonderfully. And as I said, uh, win or lose, uh, they do it with class and they do it the right way. Right now, they are just slicing and dicing the heat up offensively. Just terrific ball movement, but more importantly, it's the body movement. The Spurs, go, they don't get knuckleheads, they don't get clowns, yeah. they don't get guys with huge egos, they get guys who have to do what they're told to do. And you put it all together, and you're right, it's, it's like, wow, how come people can't appreciate this? Yeah. When you see the Spurs play, they've been together a long time. They know exactly what Coach Popovich wants. They have great spacing, but their execution is second to none. And one thing you learn, you can't outrun the basketball. And San Antonio is great about, I have a shot, but you have a better shot. They break you down with their passes. The San Antonio Spurs, they do what they do. They're going to move the ball. They're going to take some of the shot. The Popovich is going to call the play. They're going to execute the play. They're going to set picks. They're going to do all the little things, and they're going to win. Nicolo swings it. Here's Corey Joseph. The selfish basketball. How about this? That was like watching the Coltrides right there. NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Tim Duncan from Lake Forest University. Seventh selection in the 1999 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Emmanuel Ginobili from Argentina. With the 28th pick in the 2001 draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Tony Parker of Racing Club Paris, France. Picture perfect. 